Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 19 on my FIFA 15 Derby County career on the Xbox One. And it's the summer. We have got promoted to the Premier League. So we've got some dealings to do. Hopefully bring in a few players to improve the squad. So that we don't struggle when we get promoted. You see a few inquiries here. There's a right back inquiry for from Milan. And Alex Song of course. I'd love to bring Alex Song to the club. He's going to cost me 13 million. I might try and bring him in on loan maybe. I don't have a lot of funds to play with. But surely enough for Derby County to bring in a few players. I still don't know whether to bring in the players that helped me get promoted. Such as Jordan Ive from Liverpool. Um, Sonogo from Arsenal. Uh, well, I just have to wait to see. Um, if I can bring in a Barbo, I'd love to bring in a Barbo. But look how much he's going to cost me. 17.5 million. Um, we're going to try... A significantly lower bid. I don't think we're going to be able to prize him away, but you never know. If you could maybe try and get him on loan as well. Um, Barcelona are having no no agreement with the song deal. Uh, Jason Smith has accepted, so that's another youth into the senior team. And George Thorne wants to discuss wages. I can do that. Let's just see who else we can shove out on loan. See who we can sell. And this guy can go out on loan for a season. And Calero is 20 years old, rated overall at 57. He's a cam. He can also go out on loan for the season. Bunjaku, 61 rated. Um, Torres, Fabian Torres can go out on loan for the season as well. Hendry, 52 rated, 20 years old. I might just sell you, lad. Put you out on loan. What's add him to the transfer list? I'm going to transfer list him. See if I can get a bit of money. Save myself some wages as well. You know, we've got Alex the striker. We've got Connor Salmon back as well. But I still want somebody better than Connor Salmon. McDonald there. 19 years old. 53 rated. £40,000 um, valued. You know, Johnny Russell. Nabry. Ward. Marquez as well. And as you can see. Kaglery not accepting my first offer. I don't really have much more to play with, so I don't think Victory Barber is going to be joining the Rams this summer. We almost got him in January. Can you remember? It went down to the last minute and we couldn't finalise the contract in the end. So we'll sum in that, see what they say. Kaglery have actually accepted. And I don't know where to actually go through. It's a, it's a big, it's a lot of money to spend on one striker, and if I do buy him, I won't be able to bring in the left mid that I need. Um, oh, what should I do? Offering the wages. Do I offer in the wages, guys? I know he's a good player on FIFA 15. He's fast as Fook. I'm going to submit it. Forty-five thousand a week. It's the basic contract that I can offer for him. And the contract offer declined straight away. I don't want to negotiate too much with Ibarbo. Because um, I think I can bring in Sonogo cheaper. I know Ibarbo is better, but Sonogo is going to be a lot cheaper than Victor. Uh, do I, do I, do I? Oh, I'm so tempted to just go ahead and waste all my wages on him. And all my funds. And I'm obviously, of course, I'm trying to get Alex Song as well. I just submitted a 10 million bid for Alex Song for, to Barcelona. Hopefully they can come back and accept that. If we can get Alex Song in the middle of our midfield, that would be fantastic. A lot of offers coming in at the minute for Lee Grant, a goalkeeper. So if he does end up going, um, I'm going to have to look to bring in a new goalkeeper as well. Um, Toulouse, now Den Haag, put in a bid for him. I don't want to let him go for less than £1 million. So we'll wait to see if any of them offers come off. Yeah, it's currently July, so the season will be starting soon. We're going to sim the friendlies. I don't really fancy playing the friendlies in pre-season. And then before this episode finishes, we will play the first game of the new season, which I believe is against Hull City. And our offer for Alex Song has been accepted, but damn, look at his wage demands. £100,000 a week. I'm going to have to lower that, mate. I'm going to have to try and get you for a little bit cheaper. Please accept. No, he's... Contract offer has been declined. It doesn't look like Alex Hong's going to be joining us. Uh, 100,000. That's probably my limit. I've only got 5,500 remaining after offering that. I don't know whether to accept it or not. 
Um, so here we go. First friendly of preseason away game against Stuttgart. As I said, we're going to sim this one. Connor Salmon scoring, McDonald scoring, one of our young strikers, and Johnny Russell getting the other for a 3 1 win for the Rams. And there is uh, McDonald, 53 rated. He's fast as fuck, actually. Um, Torres, going to put some of these youngsters on the bench because they might come on in these friendlies. Navri on that right side, Johnny Russell, Bryson and Hughes in the middle. Hoping for big things for Will Hughes this season as well. Hopefully he can grab a few goals, some assists and be one of our main players. And hopefully we're not struggling for relegation come the end of the season. Second preseason game and we lose 3-1 this time. Johnny Russell again scoring for Derby. That's two goals in two games for him in preseason. Now player sold. Who sold? Lee Grant has gone to Motherwell for 1.4 million. So we did pretty well actually getting that. We're going to try and get ourselves a goalkeeper um, soon. Well, who shall we look for now? Shall I go get Sonogo? I think we've given up on Ibarbo. Uh, Benicophobe. Giroud, oh yeah, of course. Danny Welbeck, of course. Oh, they've got Wilfred Boney. Arsenal Sam Wilfred Boney. Well, here we go. Yaya Torre. Yaya Torre? Yaya Sonogo. Remember, he scored five goals or six goals in total for us in the playoffs. And they're asking for between three and four and a half million. If I offer three, that should be enough. See, so much more cheaper than buying Victor Abarbo. 22 years old, 71 rated. And next up, we need a left mid. And you know who I'm going to go for. Eden Hazard. No, not really. We're going to go for Jordan Ibe. He played well for us last season. Helped us get promotion to the Premier League. And bringing him in. As a youngster, he's only 19 years old. Is there anybody else? Let's have a quick look down this list. No. Let's go get him. His stats are pretty good and he's only valued at £650,000. Wow, I thought it was a little bit more expensive than that. Liverpool are asking between £1.9 and £3.1 So again, another cheap deal for, for Derby. If we can get it wrapped up, let's offer the minimum of £1.9 And hopefully Liverpool come back and accept it. The next up, because we just lost Lee Grant, we're going to need a goalkeeper. And Derby County have just actually signed Lee Butland in real life. On loan from Stoke, and we're going to make a 10 million bid. Look at that, 10 million. He's valued at 12 million, so 10 million would be a good investment for Derby County. He's 22 years old, and if we can bring him in, that would be good for Derby's future. So, first game up in the Premier League season for Derby, away game at the KC Stadium against Hull City. Can we get ourselves off to a good start? We're still waiting for these players to join us, so it's going to be a tricky game, but it's Hull City to kick off. Tom Hullstone there. Playing for Hull City, former Derby County youngster. And there he is. Oh, we almost had the ball there. Alex intercepting there for Derby early on. And 20 minutes in, still Hull City nil, Derby County nil. Derby holding themselves well in the Premier League so far. And cleared away there by Hull City. Good defending. Nice control from Forsyth. Will Hughes playing it forward to Connor Salmon who loses out. And now Hull City with a chance to attack with Diarme. Played forward. Jelovic. Now it's on his right side with El Hamadi. Jelovic. Good attack and play. And there's Tom Huddlestone. He puts it through to score against his former club. Tom Huddlestone, the former Derby Council youngster, gives Hull City the lead. 27 minutes played. Hull City 1, Derby County 0. And so far, this is not looking good for Derby in the Premier League. Is this a sign of things to come? Tom Huddlestone with the first goal of the season then. We've got five minutes remaining in this first half. Serge Gnabry attacking on the right side for the Rams. Plays it forward, finds Bryson. Now Connor Salmon for Derby. He's holding on to the ball, trying to find somebody in space. He finds Alex. He finds Bryson. Alex again. Will Hughes shoots across the keeper and that is the equaliser. A minute and a half to go in this first half. It's now Hull City 1. Derby County won. Much better play here from the Rams. We started slow, but now we're slowly picking up the pace and getting off some good passing play. And a nice finish there from Will Hughes. He asked for good things from him this season. And so far, so good from him. So into the second half we go. Good interception there from Buxton. Taken out there, though. But there's Nabry. Played forward. Nice touch there from Connor Salmon with the skills. Played forward. A chance here for Derby to go in front. Alex, good save there from the whole keeper. And Robertson for Hull is going to clear this one, is he? 
No, he's not. It's gone to Johnny Russell. Again, Johnny Russell. Oh, unlucky. Keeper saved it. Unlucky. He tried to make it 2-1 there. But good goalkeeping. Good save, actually, there from the keeper. Forcing a corner. Just over half an hour remaining. And straight into the keeper's hands. Well played. Still Hull 1, Derby County 1. Not long to go now. We're in injury time. Fourth official holding up the board there. Showing the four minutes to play. Oh, a chance here for Alex. No, that's a poor touch. And just bundled off the ball. And Quinn playing it forward to Tom Huddleston. Scorer of Hull City's goal. A chance for Hull to win this one. Oh, it's just wide of the post. They've hit the side netting. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!